Hi everyone, it's Dr. Dave Morris with the uh, Magnolia Medical Center. Hope you are doing well. It is Monday morning. Um, I think it's still morning. What time is it? Nope, afternoon now. 12.45. So uh, Dr. Dave Morris with Magnolia Medical Center. So I put, posted a quote up there from uh, Robert Scott Bell, uh, a friend of mine, Dr. Jason Dean out of Florida. Shout out to you, uh, Jason. Uh, uh, the quote is, if your position is that you want universal access to the third leading cause of death, modern medicine, then there's not a lot more to discuss. So, you know, when, we, when we're going to do like a stem cell talk or, or something like that, or we have uh, some information out on what we do for thyroid issues and hormone issues and stuff, and, and it's really funny that I'll have people say that what uh, stem cell is a is a scam or some people say that natural medicine is uh, is not well researched or they'll say stem cells not researched or they'll say something along the lines of stem cells uses aborted fetuses uh, it really kind of uh, says to me that there's a bit of ignorance out there now I, I will say this I believe that there's a difference between stupidity and ignorance I believe that stupidity is you know something and you that to be true and you lie about it anyway or you, you disregard the truth and you know what it is, but then there's ignorance, which is you don't know it, so there's no way you could uh, you could comment on it. Uh, so that's that's ignorance, right? Ignorance is, sorry about that, trying to get rid of this piece of paper here. Ignorance is you just don't know it, so you say things without knowledge, and stupidity is you know something about it, but you, but you choose to ignore it, right? So, um, listen, modern medicine, the way it is right now, is the third leading cause of death in the United States. There is uh, Dr. Barbara Starfield. She was the uh, department. Of, she was the lead of the Department of Healthcare Policy for Johns Hopkins University, uh, and she said it is the third leading cause of death in the United States. She, Johns Hopkins is considered the nation's medical school. She, or her research said that uh, modern medicine is the third leading cause of death in the United States. There's been multiple. Uh, studies published on this, citing all kinds of resources that are, are published information from like the CDC, the FDA, uh, the hospital corporations and whatnot. They post these things, physician databases. Um, one of the most recent ones, uh, and I'll have the data right to my hand, but you can look up uh, an article called Death by Medicine. And you'll find that around 776,000 people a year die from iatrogenic disease. Iatrogenic disease is disease caused by uh, medicine or the doctor. Now, so here's the thing. Um, I have lots of colleagues that are medical doctors and nurse practitioners who practice in modern medicine, practice Western medicine, if you will. And um, and in the in the emergency medicine field, the United States has the best care in the world. We have the best ability to save your life if you're involved in something that requires emergency medicine, such as you were shot or you were stabbed or you had a stroke or you have a life-threatening infection. We have the best ability to fix those problems statistically than anywhere else in the world. If you had a heart attack, there's no better place to be than the United States. However, if you have had, if you have a chronic illness, statistically speaking, you live in uh, the worst country in the world, worst industrialized country in the world to handle that chronic problem. And uh, it's also the most expensive. So if, if you're begging, <laughs> I'm not talking about a political statement here. The point being is if you're begging for universal access to the third leading cause of death, all right, that's like saying, hey, I, I really am looking for access to cancer. I really like to get cancer. Let's why not why stop at the third leading cause of death? Why not bump it up to the second leading cause of death in the world, which is cancer? And and shoot for that. Or how about if you're sitting around wishing and hoping to get heart disease? Folks, this does not make any sense. And, and, and these are not my statistics. This is well-researched information that uh, modern medicine, the way it exists right now, Western medicine is the third leading cause of death in this country. So why would you ask for that? Why, why would you say, hey, this is what I'm shooting for? The best things you can do for your health are the things that you already know that most of you don't want to do. But uh, now, I shouldn't say most of you. I don't know who's watching this, but many of you don't want to do that. That's eat right, exercise, get enough sleep, get rid of the freaking deadbeats in your environment that are bringing you down, stuff that you know you should be doing. Um, 
or, or maybe you don't know you should be doing, but those are the best ways to handle a chronic illness. And then there's supplementation. Uh, you can't get what you need from uh, from the food sources anymore because far soils are over farmed, uh, pesticide laden fruits and vegetables, your meats are loaded with antibiotics and hormones. So you've got to supplement your diet and you're going to sooner or later have to look for alternatives to, um, to just a diet. You're going to have to look for uh, supplementation to your diet. But that is not modern medicine. I mean, most doctors have never had one single class. <laughs> most medical doctors, nothing against. I mean, I have a, a family member who's a medical doctor, and I will tell you, he's a surgeon, and he saved thousands of people's lives in his career. Thousands. Uh, and I commend him for it. He's one of my very best friends. Um, but when it comes to actual health care, really, most of what you go to when you go to the doctor is sick care. So, Listen, if you are commenting on posts that say uh, natural medicine or functional medicine or stem cell therapy or pulse electromagnetic field therapy or anything that is goes against the accepted science and you're commenting and saying those things are scams, well, guess what? You've been scammed. <laughs> You've been scammed in believing that health is going to come in a pill. Uh, I, don't have, I was looking for a, a sheet here. And uh, when it comes to actually helping regenerate your body, the International Society of Cell and Gene-Based Therapy states that there's no pharmaceutical drug, nothing patented by a pharmaceutical company that actually stimulates regeneration. How about that? Not, not one thing has a cytokine, which is a little chemical messenger that tells your body how to heal. Not one thing actually is shown to stimulate that to occur in all of pharmacy. And that's from the end. This is scientists all over the world, right? So listen, stop begging for universal health care. Stop begging for access to medicine. It's ridiculous, all right? Start saving your money. Start doing the right things to become healthy. Um, and stop being a statistic, all right? That's my message for today because it really drives me insane that, that people comment on my posts and whatnot, and they say, uh, you know, that, that – uh, Stem cell therapy is not proven. It's not. It doesn't have. It doesn't have tons. Uh, fair enough. It does not have tons of clinical trials behind it. It costs millions of dollars to do a clinical trial. Nobody wants to do one because you can't patent tissue. You can't pass, patent living tissue. So nobody's going to put forth millions and millions of dollars to do a clinical trial on something that they're not going to make billions and billions and billions of dollars from. It's never going to happen. As soon as they are allowed to alter the cells, they're allowed to manipulate the DNA so that they can patent it, well, then you'll hear that stem cell therapy is the greatest thing since sliced bread, and it'll be all over TV and all over the news uh, as soon as there's a patent for it by some drug company. Until then, nobody's going to do it because it doesn't pay the pharmaceutical companies and Congress and the FDA doesn't pay their bills. Hi, Nicole. Yep, it is. Uh, I'm going to keep my, my language clean, but I agree with you. Dependency system, choice information options, I agree with you completely. I will tell you right now, uh, for or against vaccines, that it's your choice. But I will tell you right now, they're trying to make it so that every single person on this in this country, adults, children alike, are going to go into a database that uh, makes it so that you, if you do not, they're, they're actually trying to do this right now. You should contact, especially if you live in Florida, because that's uh, trying to make it so that if you don't have uh, your vaccines up to date, you can't even get a driver's license. Now, uh, you can't get your tax return. You can't get a passport. Um, so uh, it's, it, this is serious what they're trying to do right now as far as your health choices. You know, Nicole said choice. There, it's pretty serious. So. It wasn't the purpose of my discussion today, but if you're looking, as I said, if your position is that you want universal access to the third leading cause of death, well, then you're a special kind of, well, <laughs> I believe you're a special kind of stupid. How about I just say that? So anyway, I, I believe that you should, yeah, they'll take away your social security checks too. That's from Sherry. Appreciate you watching, Sherry. I don't mean to call people stupid, but come on, folks. This is ridiculous, right? The third leading cause of death. That is, the, Check out those numbers. We'll read the article, Death by Medicine. You'll see where those numbers came from. It wasn't just pulled out of thin air. About 650,000 people a year die from heart disease. About 550,000 people a year die from cancer. That number's going up for sure. Uh, 
uh, and uh, of 780,000. Actually, there's another research project that was done, and this was published by a bunch of hospital administrators. Some doctors were involved in it, some chiropractors, a bunch of people were looking at these numbers, and they said it's around 999,000, I think 936 people they figured out died from iatrogenic disease or disease caused by a doctor or hospital. So do your research, check it out, and um, if you are involved in some sort of life-threatening injury or accident, no better place to be in the United States, but if it's a chronic health problem you're trying to fix, well, then you should call Magnolia Medical. Uh, we'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching. Uh, listen, do me a favor, hit that share button. That's what we like the most. As you know, I love it when you hit that share button. Bye now.